One thing about crypto that you need to know is that all of these exchanges and in terms of service, um, you've gave them permission to spy on you. OK, there's no way around it. In order to do this shit, you've given them permission to hack your phone, to spy on your phone, right, to watch it through your phone. OK, there are a few things you can do to protect yourself, but not a whole lot. But one of them I want to share with you is this one right here. See this fucking camera shit when you're not using that. Right. Turn that shit off. Hit four stop. See, see all those permissions. Get rid of all those permissions. Right. Why in the fuck does the camera need to <clears throat> scan for nearby devices and all of that shit? All of this is spy spy work. Right. Now, you may not think this is a big, old, big, big old deal until you're trying to trade and somebody's watching your ass through your phone and you go take a shit. And they know are you doze off and they hear you sleeping and they know you're sleeping and then they execute a big ass dump to liquidate you. Right. You say, well, that's why I put in a stop loss. Well, you stop loss. You just gave them money anyway. You, you're fucking with stop losses. You're donating money anyway. OK, it's, that's the most asinine thing ever. If you can't watch this shit, don't do it. Don't fucking do it. If you can't manually watch it, but the moment you put in a stop loss, you have just told a criminal where your pin code is, right? How to access all your accounts, how to steal your money. That's the equivalent of what a, a stop loss is when you're dealing with these criminal ass fucking Asians that control cryptocurrency and they hack your shit through your phone. Trade from your desktop computer and make sure there's no cameras connected. Right? If you have to do this shit through your phone, disable the fucking microphones and the cameras and all of that shit. If you're not taking no pictures, disable that shit. Why? That's how they're following you, watching you. It took me a year and a half to realize that's how Binance was doing it. That's how Binance did it. That's how Binance made all that fucking money. That's how Binance hacked the fuck out of FTX. All of their phones were hacked. As smart as they were, they were stupid. As smart as those, as smart as they were at FTX, they were fucking dummies because they didn't realize that the hackers can get hacked. And that's what Binance did. That's how they crashed them. That's how they knew they had a liquidity issue. They hacked their shit. Because why? You, you have code on your personal things from these places, Right. That's why Binance wants you to download the app. That's why all of these things want you to download their fucking apps. Do not, if you're going to trade, download that app long enough to execute the fucking trade, then uninstall that shit and watch it from a, another device. Watch it from a computer. But try to do this, try to do these things on laptops I mean, or, or desktops. I really encourage you and discourage you from trading on, on your phones. Don't trade on your phones. Trade on any fucking thing but your phone. Right? Yeah, I'm trading on my phone. But do as I say, not as I do. Fuck. <laughs> okay? Do as I say, not as I do. Right? Because I'm obligated to tell you the right things to do. Okay? I listen to my own advice too. But sometimes it's, it's out of frustration. I, like right now, I got to go to work. So I have to trade on my phone because this is the move I've been waiting on. But I don't want you doing this shit from your phone. I really prefer you do this shit from a desktop. Bec why, TJ? Because we're dealing with criminals. Anybody in this, all these fucking exchanges and platforms, all these fucking people are criminals. That's how they became crazy rich, rich agents. They didn't become crazy rich agents through anything legitimate. They became crazy rich agents from fucking scams. Scamming who? You. They scammed us. That's how they became crazy rich agents. They never did nothing fucking honestly. They steal shit. And part of the things they steal is they hack into shit. They hackers. They are fucking hackers. They hack first and then legitimize later. Not, not just the, the little ones. Even Sony. Sony got caught hacking. Sony put root kits on fucking PlayStations. You don't believe me? Go Google it right now. Sony busted for putting spyware in fucking electronics. I didn't got to lie on it. What the fuck you got to lie on a bunch of criminals for? Crime is what they do. So if I'm telling you 
to protect yourself. I'm going to say it again until it vomits out of your nose. I don't have an incentive to lie to you. You're not paying me shit. How much money you gave me? Nothing. You come here and watch my videos. I can't even get you motherfuckers to buy me a hot sausage sandwich. Okay? So if I'm doing this, I'm doing this shit out of love. But most of all, I'm doing this shit out of revenge. Because if I make you smarter, that's the less money they make. And we begin to choke these motherfuckers out. It's your boy TJ. Got some gumbo for you. Delete that shit off your phone. After you're done with it.